The debate is upon us. Joe Biden is debating Donald Trump. Now, first, let's go over a couple things. The rules of the debate are all stacked against Trump in the worst possible ways. And, and we'll, we'll go into it a little more detail about that. But, but, that's kind of the bad news on the, on the overview front. The good news on the overview, overview front is this. Trump is so much more physically and mentally capable than Joe Biden. He just is. Joe Biden's no longer a functional adult. We have report after report after report from things like the G7 where they just met at, where people are leaking things, saying the guy can't even function, can't hold a thought in his head, you can't keep him in the room. So look, let's pretend like we've got a big fight coming, which essentially that's what this is, the political version of a big fight. The most important thing, the most important thing, let's agree on this, in a fight, if there's gonna be a boxing match, it's a boxing match, is having the better boxer. <laughs> That's, if you had to pick one thing you were better at than the other guys were, it would be having the better boxer. And there's no question that we have the better boxer. Trump is simply more physically and mentally capable at this point than Joe Biden is. That's the good news. So the bad news is, well, it's all set up against him. The good news is he's the better fighter. Now, how do these things work? Because look, I, I've, I've said it a lot. I've said it many, many times, and I'll say it again after the debate is over. I'm really not interested in a bunch of preemptive whining or post-debate whining about it being unfair and biased because it's CNN. It's a communist news network. They've always been unfair and biased. They always will be. If you were worried about it being unfair, why did you accept it? So let's ask, why did it get accepted? Because Trump came out yesterday and made a statement about it. He has obviously heard many of the concerns with accepting a debate like this. Two moderators who hate his guts, they cut off his microphone. It's on a TV network that's called him the second coming of Adolf Hitler for about eight years now. Hey, Trump, why would you accept it? And this is what he said. This is Trump's quote. Quote, they approached me with a debate that I couldn't take. They thought they would present it, I would say no, and they would say we can't debate because Trump said no. So I said yes before they even gave me the terms. So he got roped into it. All right. Now, you may disagree or agree with what Trump just said. You may love it. You may hate it. You may love it, but kind of think it's naive and insane. Understand that this is what we know about Trump. We have know this, we've had Sean Spicer on the show, he's very close with Trump, we've known this for the longest time. Trump has a I'll take anybody, anytime mentality. Sean Spicer told us that when he was trying to get Trump to negotiate better terms. Trump said, no, nah, no, nah, I'll take him anytime, anyplace. That kind of bravado mentality. And I'll be honest with you, I like that. The, the, the Jesse in me, I like that a lot. Now, strategically, that's not smart. It's not. It's not smart to have taken this debate. It is not a smart political move because Trump is ahead. You see, we are in a game here. It's a very important game where their stakes are high, but this is a game. And Donald Trump is up by a touchdown, two touchdowns, pick your sports reference and pick how much he's ahead. Every single poll shows Donald Trump ahead. He's ahead in the swing states. He's ahead on the particular issues. Every single issue, they're mad at Joe Biden. They like Trump better. They're mad at Joe Biden. They like Trump better. They're mad about the border. They blame Biden. They like Trump better. They're mad about inflation. They blame Joe Biden. They like Trump better. Donald Trump is ahead by any way you want to measure it. He's ahead. But here we have the debate thing. This debate is going to be enormous. The ratings for this debate are going to be Super Bowl type ratings. It will be the most watched thing, I would guess, this is a guess, but I bet I'm not far off, that this will be the most watched thing on the planet in the year 2024. That's how big this will be. It's the first one. Trump versus Biden. Is Biden going to poop himself? Is Trump going to go crazy? What's go Everyone's going to watch. And Trump is ahead. So if you're ahead... Really, the main risk you have, and this is Trump, he's ahead, the main risk you have is the massive blunder. 
the horrible thing that goes wrong. And this is what he set himself up for now. Maybe he does, maybe it goes wrong, maybe it does not. But let's just put it this way. The enemy, in order to overtake Trump in the public's view and the polls and everything else, the enemy needed a straight flush. He needed this to go right and this to go right and this to go right. And then at the end, he had to land the finishing blow. Well, by not even debating the terms, we gave him almost all that immediately. Can Joe Biden pull something off during the debate? I don't know. Trump is much better than him personally. I don't know. Let's not do the thing either where we get so caught up in bravado, we discount the moderators. If you've watched debates for any length of time, whether they be primary debates, general election debates, you already know moderators are enormous during a debate. They are huge. They control so much. And Jake Tapper is one of the moderators. If you were to open up a copy of Hitler's Mein Kampf, you would find the Nazi leader describing the mixing of non-Germans with Germans as poisoning. The Jew, Hitler wrote, quote, poisons the blood of others. This, according to Hitler, posed an existential threat to Germany because, quote, all great cultures of the past perished only because the originally creative race died out from blood poisoning, unquote. There's really no other way to say it. Donald Trump's language mirrors this directly. But now the Trump presidency is coming to an end, to an end, with so many squandered opportunities and ruined potential, but also an era of just plain meanness. It must be said, to paraphrase President Ford, for tens of millions of our fellow Americans, their long national nightmare is over. We didn't even check terms. We just accepted a debate with that guy moderating? Oh, but no, no, he's not alone, you see. Jake Tapper will have, will have a co-worker there. Her name's Dana Bash. This is Dana Bash. Unfortunately for America, the court ne isn't necessarily wrong that this is the way the framers wanted it to be. They wanted Congress, the people who are closest to their constituents to be able to make the, the rules of the laws. Unfortunately for America, what was she referencing there? Trump not being taken off the ballot. That Dana Bash is married, did you know that? Do you remember, do you remember the Hunter Biden laptop and how there was a letter from all these spies? 51 spies signed a letter saying that's Russian disinformation, a blatant lie. We know now it's a lie. You know, one of those spies was Dana Bash's husband. These are the two people who are going to be moderating the debate. I, <laughs> what you want me to say? Trump's own press secretary can't finish a sentence before getting cut off and run off CNN. It's so it takes someone five minutes to Google Jake Tapper, Donald Trump, to see that Jake Tapper has ma consistently we're stop frequently this interview if you're going to keep President attacking Trump my colleagues. Uh, uh, Ma'am, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating, to attack my colleagues. I would like to talk about I Joe Biden stating, and Donald Trump, who you work for. Yes. If you are here to we, speak on his behalf, and I, I will am willing do that. to have this conversation. I am stating facts that your colleagues have stated in the past. Okay. Now, uh, as I'm for sorry, this guys. Debate, we're going to come back out to the panel. For, Caroline, thank you very much for your time. You are welcome to come back at any point. She is welcome to come back and speak about Donald Trump. And Donald Trump will have equal time to Joe Biden when they both join us now at next early later this week in Atlanta for this debate. And this is where the most watched television event of the year this is where it will be watched. And moderators are enormous. Speaking of that Hunter Biden laptop, the disinformation, you've seen this clip a million times. We played it for you a million times on this show. Joe Biden saying, ah, it's Russian disinformation. Trump correctly jumping in and saying, what? That's crazy. And everyone focuses on what Biden says because he's lying or what Trump says because he's right. But what people miss is how quickly the, de the debate moderator jumps on the grenade, the live grenade for Joe Biden. Whoa, 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 let's not talk about that. Ha, ha, ha. Back to race. 
Because look, Very there are 50 former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plan. They have said that this is, has all the care. Four, five former heads of the CIA, both parties, say what he's saying is a bunch of garbage. Nobody believes it except the, his and his good friend, Rudy Gianni. You mean the laptop is now yeah. another Russia, Russia, Russia hoax? And that's exactly be. what is this that's where you're exactly going? What this is going. where he's going. The that, laptop right. is Russia, yes. Russia, Gentlemen, Russia? I want to stay on the issue of race. You okay? have to be kidding. Here Mr. we go President? again with Russia. Trump is more capable than Joe Biden in every possible way. More energy, smarter, just physically, mentally more capable. Donald Trump is ahead. Things are looking good. Don't count your chickens, of course. It's a long way until November, but things are looking good. Really, the only way things could go bad for us right now is if we walk into a nationally, internationally televised debate disaster. I'm not anticipating that. I'm really not. But... We have set up for a debate disaster. Will it happen? I pray to God not, but we certainly have handed them all the ingredients for a bomb to go off. Whether they put it together right or not, I don't know, but cross your fingers and say a prayer.